हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सुरेंद्र जैन मास्टर टीचर इन वेदांतु आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग यू दी सोल्यूशन ऑफ जेई एडवांस 2019 दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फ्रॉम पेपर वन दिस क्वेश्चन इज टेकन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक सर्कल्स वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर जेई एडवांस लेट अस सी व्हाट दिस क्वेश्चन इज अ लाइन वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस वन इंटरसेक्ट दिस सर्कल एक्स माइनस थ्री होल स्क्वायर प्लस वाई प्लस टू होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट्स पी एंड क्यू If the midpoint of the line segment PQ has x coordinate minus three upon five, then which one of the following options is correct? Let us first solve this question. Then we will see what options are. So let us assume this is the circle, and this line y is equal to m x plus one is intersecting the circle at P and Q, and the midpoint has x coordinate minus three upon five. and let us say y coordinate is beta now one of the method could be that you put this y is equal to mx plus 1 in the equation of circle we get x minus 3 whole square plus mx plus 1 plus 2 so mx plus 3 whole square is equal to 25 now this is quadratic in x only which should give roots x1 comma x2 which will be the x coordinates of p and x coordinates of q okay now if we open this quadratic we if we open these brackets we get 1 plus m square into x square plus 6m minus 6 into x minus 7 is equal to 0 now sum of roots we can taken we can take x1 plus x2 it would be minus of then 6 common m minus 1 Upon one plus m square. Now this x one plus x two can also be obtained by taking midpoint formula by using midpoint formula for x coordinates of p, q, and their midpoints. So x one plus x two upon two should be equal to minus three upon five. So I can write this x one plus x two as minus six upon five. Now minus six will get cancelled, and we get. But after cross multiplication, 5m minus 5 is equal to 1 plus m square, or m square minus 5m plus 6 is equal to 0. Now this is very easy to factorize. m minus 2 is one factor, m minus 3 is another factor. So the answer for this question is m is equal to either 2 or equal to 3. Okay, let us see what are the options. So m is equal to two or three. I think only correct option is B. A is wrong, C is wrong, D is wrong. B is correct. So only correct option is B. So that is one method. I will tell you one more method for this question. Suppose this is midpoint minus three upon five comma beta. So if you join this midpoint to the center of the circle, which is three comma minus two, they should meet at ninety degree. Okay. Already we know. the slope of this given line which is m okay let us call this midpoint as d and this center as c so the slope of line joining cd can also be found by y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 so it would be beta minus minus plus 2 upon minus 3 upon 5 minus 3 here beta is because this equation of line is y is equal to mx plus 1 and we know the x coordinate it would be minus 3 upon 5 into uh it would be minus 3 upon 5 into m plus 1 now you get this slope in terms of m you have slope of this line also in terms of m so using the fact m into mcd is equal to minus 1 we will again get same quadratic and we can get the value of m so that is the second method In fact, we can also do this question by one more method that is chord bisected at given point using t is equal to s one. I am leaving this method for you to do, but again you will get same quadratic and you can get same values of m. Now I will tell you one interesting fact about this question. Please listen carefully, and this is that line is passing through zero comma one for all possible values of m. You can check. now if i put 0 comma 1 in the equation of this circle you can check the value of s1 corresponding to this point 0 comma 1 comes out to be minus 7 which is negative which means this point should lie inside the circle somewhere here which means 
I choose any value of m. This line passing through 0, 1 is going to intersect the circle at two real points always. So we don't have to bother about whether my answer of m will actually give us real points p and q or not. Why I am telling you this thing? Please listen carefully. Suppose in this question, this point was lying outside and some line were not cutting or touching this circle. In that case, your roots x1 and x2 will be imaginary. But their sum can still be real. So if you go by this method, even without knowing whether roots are real or not, we may get m is equal to 2 or 3. Okay. So, but by giving 0, 0,1 like point, they have made sure that we don't have to check anything else, but just get the answer and that should be authenticated answer, perfect answer. No doubt about that. Okay. So that is all about this question. Answer is B. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for the next question. Bye.